Hi, my name is Dr. Scott Hoare from right here in Boca Raton, Florida. In this video, we're going to be taking you through some aspects of the shoulder and what can go wrong with it. We're going to be providing you with ways you can assess your own shoulder at home and then give you some corrective exercises to improve the function of your shoulder and help you avoid shoulder pain. Now, there's lots of different types of shoulder pain. There's tendinosis, there's rotator cuff tears, there's impingement, bursitis, but what all those have in common is just too much stress on the shoulder. I see this all the time in crossfitters doing tipping pull-ups, in weightlifters, in pitchers playing baseball, and even in moms lifting up their children. Like I said, what all of them have in common is just too much stress on the shoulder. Now the problem that we see is when people, uh, let's just take the movement of lifting your arm overhead. When I lift my arm over my head, all the stress and all the movement comes from right here in my shoulder. What we'd like to see is more flexibility in the upper back and the upper torso. And that's going to make the movement, the range of motion of the shoulder improve while taking some of the stress off the shoulder. As well, we would like a really stable, controlled shoulder blade and shoulder girdle. For example's sake, let's say this fist right here is my shoulder blade and this other fist right here is the head of my shoulder. Now your shoulder blade is actually the socket that your shoulder sits in. So we don't want unnecessary motion going on with the shoulder girdle. When we move our shoulder, we would like a nice, quiet, stable environment to reduce the shearing impact at the shoulder. Lastly, we want a shoulder uh, the head of the shoulder itself to be very, very flexible and move really nicely. When all those things are working really well, it helps you avoid shoulder pain. It helps you avoid ending up in an office like mine, or worse yet, in like a, a surgeon's office. Now, this video is to help you avoid shoulder pain and shoulder problems. If you find yourself in significant shoulder pain, I recommend you seek medical attention. In the past, the old approach that we used to take when it came to care for your shoulder was uh, attacking the individual muscles of the rotator cuff. We would give you exercises that look like this and like this to, to help improve the function of your shoulder. Well, what we've progressed to is a more global approach where we get the rest of the upper body working really well to take off the stress from the shoulder. And we'll be showing you how to do that. Now I'm going to be providing you with a progression of exercises. There's going to be eight different exercises and it's going to be important that you are competent with exercise one and exercise two before you progress to exercise three, four, and so on. You're going to take whatever exercise is your worst exercise, you're going to pick that one and you're going to work on that over the course of several days or possibly weeks until you're competent at that. You will not be ready for exercise four if you're still working on exercise one. Now when you perform these exercises at home, I recommend you do one set of 10 repetitions. You can do as many sets throughout the day as you'd like, but it's very important that you do this exercise before whatever activity it is you do that puts a lot of stress on your shoulder.